Piers Morgan was less than impressed when a stranger used him as a prop to get into the Euro 2020 final during the chaos that rained down on Wembley, as ticketless fans breached the barriers. Piers Morgan, 56, was taken aback when a complete stranger approached him and posed as his security guard at the Euro 2020 final. The former Good Morning Britain star had managed to get tickets for him and his three sons, and while the night ended in the presenter catching COVID. The event itself was far from uneventful. In his column for the Daily Mail, Piers detailed the night's events and how exhilarating it was to attend Wembley for a game that will go down in history. While England were eventually beaten by Italy during the penalty shootouts, Piers had already been left baffled by something that had happened much earlier on. When we arrived at the first security barrier, it was complete mayhem as scores of drunken, aggressive, ticketless jobs tried to charge through. He penned, detailing the chaos that ascended on the football stadium, which was documented across social media. It was not a situation where having a recognizable face was a massive bonus. A guy suddenly appeared at my side and said, need some help, Piers. Before I could reply, he marched up to a steward on the other side of the barrier and said, I am Mr. Morgan's security guard and concerned for his safety, okay if he and his family come in here. And his trick worked a treat, as Piers and his entourage were rushed to a quieter area away from the racket. The harassed steward clocked me, instantly replied yes, opened the metal gate and ushered us through without checking whether we had tickets or a valid COVID status, the TV star revealed. As he did so, my bodyguard bustled through too with his mate, their arms protectively around us. Then they both ran off laughing. They didn't give a damn about my safety. They used me to get in without tickets or COVID checks. The situation that arose caused outrage online, and Piers went on to explain why people were so angry, and quite rightly too. When we approached the second security gates, the automated turnstiles to get inside the stadium itself, there was similar carnage. 